Now you find a Pokemon or Moemon sprite that you really like online, but how do you get it into your game? This video will show you how to using the Advanced Series Pack made by Vichu. For example, we're going to swap Pinsir's sprite. Links to the programs in the description. So, we're going to mod this totally legit Pokemon Emerald. Now let me just show you the pencil inside the game right now. As you can see, Pinsir is still Pinsir. Now let's close this. And here are the sprites we're gonna use. You can either find some of this online or you can draw them yourself. This is the one I made, a Pinsir Moemon. And here's the icon we're gonna switch. Links to the images in the description if you want to test it out yourself. And the program we'll be using right here, the Advanced Series That's the icon editor, sprite editor, and the sprite position editor. Do set your system local to English though, or you might get an unhandled exception error. So firstly, we start with the sprite editor. Let's move it to the center. You have to make sure you're using the correct ini. There's an emerald ini, there's a fire red, ruby, Whichever game you're modding, you choose that one. I'm modding Emerald, so I'm leaving it Emerald Ini. Now load your Game Boy Advance file. Now that's loaded, we're gonna go to Pinsir. I'm gonna type this in, Pinsir. As you can see, our Pinsir is looking happy right there. But now we gotta change you, man. Go into Edit and go straight up to import all up here. Import in the image that we want to replace. And as you can see, the image is up here. The bottom one is still messed up. The reason why is because it's still using the palettes from the original sprite. So click synchronize palettes and you can see the colors are synchronized now. And we can check the frame too. And press OK. Now, proceed to Write to Roam. After Write to Roam, if you just press OK, there will be an error. So you have to use the built-in Find Free Space in the Sprite Editor. So click here, Find Free Space, let it run. And once it finds a free space, click OK. And the Sprite is modded in. Now let's check in-game. Ta-da! Now the sprite is in-game. But you can see, the sprite's position is still a bit messed up. The back sprite is a bit lower. And you can see the front sprite is overlapping with the health bar. So we're going to use the next program to fix this. Advanced Sprite Position Editor. Click it. Move it to the center. Same thing. Make sure the Ini is the correct one. For my one, is Emerald. Load the Game Boy Advance file. Now you can see that it's loaded. Go to the Pokemon you want to edit. In my case, Pinsir. Now click on to auto position. After auto position, it optimizes the position. Now you can do a bit of manual tweaking with this options at the bottom, like player Y, which edits the position of your back sprite, or enemy Y, the position of the enemy's front sprite, or the enemy altitude. This one is for floating Pokemons or flying Pokemons. If you change this, you see a shadow at the bottom appearing, signifying it's floating or flying. 
Now I'm gonna leave it back to zero and move the enemy white just a bit higher and click right to roam. And then the position is safe. Now let's check in game. Fast forward, fast forward. Get an encounter real quick. And there you go, you can already see the position. You can see the back sprite is higher, you can see everything down at the bottom, and the sprite is not overlapping with the health bar. But we have one more step. Now you can see inside the Pokemon menu, the icon is still the original sprite. Now we want to change this. Using our third program, the icon editor. Now open it up. Make sure the Eni is the correct one. Load your GBA file. Now it's loaded. Go to the Pokemon you want to edit. For us as Pinsir. Now click the file at the top. Click import image. Now import in the icon file. Select auto transparency and click OK. And there you go, it's inside. Now this palette ID right here swaps between the three palettes the icon needs to use. You can change it to the one that looks most right and then click right to roam. And that's in. Now let's check in game again. Fast forward, fast forward. So we'll start, open our Pokemon menu, and there you go, the icon is swapping. You learned something here, leave a like, or if you have questions about this, leave a comment down below. I will help whatever I can. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Peace.